What's happening? It's Shane here. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about the highest paid employees in the world because everybody knows the people who make the most money are those who start their own businesses. However, that is not going to be an option for everybody. Some people just don't want to start their own business, whether it means they don't really want to have all that responsibility, they want to have a better work life balance, or they're just risk averse enough to where they just don't want to take the risk starting a business. So I'm really going to break this down. I'm going to look at it on a large scale and then I'm also going to zoom in and look at individual careers, individual industries, et cetera, that can lead to you making a ridiculous amount of money while still being an employee. So this is going to be a very entertaining and informative video, but before we get into that, make sure to gently tap the like button, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Let's go for 1000 likes on this video. All right, so before we get into the exact people who made the most money as an employee over the last year, let's look at this on a more broad scale and let's talk about careers specifically that make a lot of money. And when you're looking at careers on a broad scale, the one that makes the most money is without a doubt, doctor, right? Becoming a medical doctor, you can make a ridiculous amount of money. And again, that's another one of those things where depending on how far you zoom in, there's different types of specialties and subspecialties, and it gets all the way up to 800,000 plus dollars a year, sometimes even over a million dollars a year, if you really niche down and you figure out what your subspecialty is. But with that being said, generally speaking, plastic surgeons do get paid the most at $526,000 a year. Now again, this is plastic surgeons that are working 20 hours a week, semi-retired, and plastic surgeons that are working 80 hours a week. It's the average of all of them. Some plastic surgeons are gonna be much better known than others. So there are plastic surgeons that make millions of dollars a year. Another profession that can be extremely high paying, I would say this one is quite a bit more risky than becoming a doctor, and that is lawyer. Now with doctors, most of them are making a pretty good income. With lawyers, a lot of them don't make very much or they completely drop out of the career altogether, but the ones at the very top can make extremely extremely good money. Richard Scruggs, for instance, also known as the king of torts, is reported to be worth $1.7 billion. And he basically participated in different class action lawsuits against giant companies, and in some cases, huge industries. So for instance, he sued the tobacco industry. He also spent like six years in jail and just had a really interesting and weird life in general. But yeah, in extreme cases, somebody like uh, Richard Scruggs can make hundreds of millions of dollars a year as a lawyer. Another career where you can make a ton of money is as a salesman. So for instance, Ben Cayabera, is a real estate agent based in Texas. And in 2018 alone, that was his record year, he sold 5,793 new homes totaling $2.27 billion. So if you do the math on that, just to make it easy, assuming he got a 4% commission, that would be $88 million a year. So yeah, there is a huge amount of opportunity for high ticket salespeople out there. You can make a ridiculous amount of money. Another position where you can make a ton of money without being an entrepreneur and without being a CEO, which would be basically like the president or the head of a company, is becoming an executive. So this would be something like a vice president. So for instance, Mark Anderson worked for many years as the senior VP at Palo Alto Networks, which is a company that sells software in order to basically prevent cyber attacks. And he was able to make about $9.5 million in a year. Another executive position would be Jeremy Burton, who works as a marketing executive. And he works for EMC. And according to their website, he made about $9.6 million a year. So there is a lot of high paying positions in marketing, sales, uh, management and becoming an executive. Now, before we get into the highest type of executive, which is CEO, we're gonna talk about one other type of career where you can make a ridiculous amount of money. And it really just has to do with the industry that you're in, and that is hedge fund manager. Now, hedge fund managers, of course, are going to be managing people's money, investing it, and trying to get a better return than the market does. Most of them end up failing, but some of them are exceptionally good at it. One of those is Israel Englander of Millennium Management, and he earned $3.8 billion last year. So hedge fund manager was likely the highest paid career or job, if you can even call it that, that isn't a CEO or entrepreneur. And I think a lot of these jobs are basically great for people who are not entrepreneurial, but they're intrapreneurial. And that's basically somebody who has very similar skills to an entrepreneur 
but you like to kind of work within the confounds of something that's already created, right? So you like to be creative within the box, so to speak. And then on top of that, maybe you don't want to take on as much responsibility or risk. Now, the top earning entrepreneur out of all of them by far is going to be CEO, Chief Executive Officer. And this list is updated for 2021. It was just updated um, and it's over the last year. And here are the top five earning chief executive officers. Joseph Levin works at Interactive Corp and he earned $189 million last year. Chad Richeson works at Paycom Software and he earned $211 million. Eric Wu works for Open Door Technologies and he earned $370 million. Tony Zhu works for DoorDash and he earned $413 million. And the highest paying CEO so far this year is Alexander Karp and he earned $1 billion, $98 million. He works for Palantir Technologies, which is an extremely popular popular stock right now. A lot of people are very bullish on that company and they have invested in it heavily. Now, even though Alexander Karp was number one by far on this year's list, he wasn't even close to the person who got number one on last year's list. And that was Elon Musk. Elon Musk earned $6.6 .6 billion as an employee as the CEO on last year's list. And that doesn't even count his net worth going up because of all the stock options and stuff like that that he owns. That is just, that's, that's crazy. So anyways, this video, mostly for entertainment purposes. Um, I mean, these people are like the richest of the richest in the world. It's not realistic for most people to uh, become a CEO or, or anything like that. Um, I mean, and it's probably just as rewarding to start like a smaller company that solves problems as well. And you have a much higher chance of being able to do that. But yeah, here are some jobs that tend to be extremely high paying. You know, usually they're not going to be like 10 million, 20 million, 100 million, 6.6 .6 billion dollars a year, but they might end up being 500,000 or a million dollars a year. So yeah, mostly entertaining, but also a somewhat informative video. Hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead, check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you. Gently tap the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video, and I will see you next time.